Hello there, Narek is here. Today we're going to talk about parametric quadratic equations, but we're mostly interested in studying the sign of its roots. So, I'm going to take one example and we're going to study the sign of roots of this parametric quadratic equation. So, let's start. The example is We have this equation, m plus 2 x squared minus 2 times m plus 3 x plus m, which is equal to 0. As you can see, this is a parametric quadratic equation, and the coefficient a is parametric also. So the first thing that I should do is to say, what happens if m plus 2, so if m plus 2 is equal to 0, which means m is equal to minus 2. So for m is equal to minus 2, I will have 0x squared minus 2 times minus 2 plus 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. So the equation will be transformed to... Um, plus one, minus 2x, minus 2 is equal to 0, and x is equal to minus 1. So x is equal to minus 1 is a solution, it's a linear equation, whenever m is equal to minus 2. So in the following part, I'm going to take only if m is different than minus 2, which means my equation will remain quadratic equation, so I will have to, to go through delta, and then I will have to uh, discuss about the existence of roots plus the, the sign of its roots. So let's start. I'm going to use delta prime. Delta prime is equal to minus m plus 3 to the power of 2 minus a m plus 2 c is 1 is equal to m squared plus 9 plus 6m minus m squared minus 2m. So delta prime will be equal to 4m plus 9. As you can see, delta prime is not a real number, so I cannot say it's um, positive, negative, or zero. So I will have to check through um, by regard regarding the values of m. So I should, I should say delta prime is equal to 0, delta prime is equal to 0, which means 4m plus 9 is equal to 0, m is equal to minus 9 over 4. And then I will have to do the table of sign, of course, regarding delta. So let's do the table regarding the signs of m in order to discuss about the sign of delta, so from minus infinity to plus infinity, and uh, m was equal to minus 9 over 4. So delta prime will be equal to 0 in this case. Um, it will be positive on the... It was 4m plus 9, yes. So it's positive on this side, negative on this side. All right? Of course, you can... Uh, discuss about the existence of roots, you can say that for from minus infinity to, plus, to minus 9 over 4, no real roots. As for m is equal to minus 9 over 4, it will have one, one real double root. And for m going from minus 9 over 4 to plus infinity, you will have two real distinct roots. And of course, in this case, we're simply saying that the roots exist or not, and we can use the formula in order to find out about um, the formula of the root. Uh, but we're mostly interested in the sign. In order to study the sign of the root, we have to go through P and S. P as the product of the roots and S the sum of the roots. So what about the product? Let's get back and check. Uh, so P... P, which is the product, is actually C over A. 
from my equation, of course, the parametric equation, this equation, C is M, A is M plus 2. So, M over M plus 2. And I will have to say what are um, the values of for which M is equal to 0, and then, of course, P is equal to 0, and then I will have to do a table of sign uh, related to P. So, M is equal to 0, plus M should be different than minus 2, of course. So I will have the, to, do, to do the table for the product, m going from minus infinity to plus infinity. This is minus 2 and 0. The first factor is m. The second factor is m plus 2. And this will give me the fraction, which is the product p. For minus 2, of course, it's shaded because it's the value which should not, uh, which should, we should reject. For 0, 0 plus negative, negative. For m plus 2, it's 0 for minus 2, and then positive, positive, negative on this side. So the product will be positive, negative, 0, positive. So this is the sign of the product. So right now I'm doing the table of sign related to the product. I'm going to do the table of sign related to the sum, and then I'm going to do a global table where we have delta, product, and, of course, delta prime. In my case, it was delta prime. Product and sum. And I will have to discuss about the existence of roots plus the existence, plus the sign of each root. So this was for the product. Let's go and talk about the sum. So we have the sum, which is equal to minus b over a. So what is minus b? Let's get back to our function, our equation. Minus b, it's 2 times m plus 3 over a, m plus 2. So we have 2 times m plus 3 over m plus 2. I will have to expand it, so it's 2m plus 6 over m plus 2. And then, of course, I will have to do the, do the same thing again. Uh, I should say 2m plus 6 is equal to 0. 2m is equal to minus 6, m is equal to minus 3, and of course, m plus 2 should be different than 0, m different than minus 2, and let's do the table of sign for m going to from minus infinity to plus infinity, minus 3 and minus 2. The first factor is 2m plus 6, this is the numerator, m plus 2 is the denominator, and then we have the sum, which is the fraction itself. For minus 2, it's shaded. 2m plus 6, it will be 0 for minus 3, positive on the right side, negative on the left side. Uh, m plus 2 will be 0 for uh, minus 2, positive on the right side, negative, negative on the left side. So it's positive, 0, negative, and positive. Right now I have the sign of delta prime, the sign of P, the sign of S, and I will have to do the table, which, of course, summarizes the three of, the three of them. So let's do the, the global table. Uh, so whenever M takes any value from minus infinity to plus infinity, the values in question are minus 3, minus 9 over 4, minus 2, and 0. All right? What about delta prime? Delta prime was related to... Uh, all right. It was shaded for minus 2. So delta prime was equal to 0 for, del, uh, for m is equal to minus 9 over 4. And then you will have to simply check your table of delta prime plus minus. So plus, 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 negative, negative. What about the product? The product P was equal to uh, 0, 0. And then let's check the sign. All right, so it was... 0 and it was between minus 2 and 0 negative and outside it's positive 
between minus 2 and 0 it's negative uh, and outside it will be positive 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 what about the sum the sum was between minus 3 and minus 2 uh, what about its sign it was plus negative plus plus negative negative plus plus that's it this is how I have my table of uh, where I'm discussing about Delta prime P and S now in this section in this section when Delta prime is negative I simply say no real roots so it doesn't matter the sign of the product of the sum no real roots all right in this section delta prime is positive two real distinct roots product is positive when the product is positive it means that the two roots are from the same sign positive times positive or negative times negative so I, I should check the sum the sum is negative which means both of them are negative so you simply say x1 smaller than x2 smaller than 0 all right what about this part delta prime is positive to the two real distinct roots the product is negative so one of them is positive the other one is negative I should check the sum the sum is positive it means that the difference between them is remaining positive so you should say x1 smaller than 0 smaller than x2 but the absolute value of x1 will still remain smaller than x2 because the sum is positive what about the last part where we have uh, delta prime positive p positive and s positive in this case P is positive, it means that both of them could be positive or both of them negative, the roots. The sum is positive, that means both of the roots are positive. So it will be 0 smaller than x1, smaller than x2. And this is how you have your two roots, which are, of course, distinct, positive, greater than 0. What about minus 9 over 4? We already discussed. what about zero so these are the values that i should also discuss so uh, let's take the first one we can also discuss about m m is equal to minus three all right so the last part of our discussion will be uh, so if m is equal to minus 3 my equation will be my equation will be x squared plus 3 is equal to 0 which means of course I have no real roots this is of course strictly positive no real roots and uh, we already told that we don't have real roots in the table in the previous table what about m is equal to minus 9 over 4 so it was delta prime which was equal to 0 so I should have x1 is equal to x2 is equal to minus b prime over a all right uh, minus b prime over a and you will have the value of minus 3 you simply calculate you will get minus 3 and what about m is equal to 0 this was the last one so we will have the product is equal to zero so one of the roots x1 let's say it's zero and the other one x2 is equal to um, directly minus b over a so the value will be plus three all right so this was a case where we discussed the sign of roots of a parametric quadratic equation that's all for this video why don't you subscribe to my channel and you will be notified whenever I upload new videos and I can also share with you my Instagram or Facebook account 
You can contact me directly or you can simply leave a comment below. That's all for today. I hope it was helpful and see you next time.